What's up guys, Tom here. I know it has been a few days, sorry, I have COVID, so I apologize if I'm not gonna be 100%, but in the time I've been sick, I've been putting together a few new decks. So we made two Gravekeepers decks, basically a pure Gravekeepers, which is essentially just the goal of getting her out to get him out, and a more meta version, which I've found to be a lot more consistent, where the entire purpose is basically getting Inspector Border out, along with Necro Valley, pretty much locking my opponent out of doing most things, which, is pretty funny because it just wins on its own automatically half the time. So I'm gonna put both deck lists in the comments below, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try these out, see how they do. Uh, the meta version, which is the one with Inspector Border, this idea was from um, masterduelmeta.com. I was trying to find a good way for Gravekeepers to shut down things like Eldritch and things like that. This was the way that that um, was suggested. So yeah, shout out to masterduelmeta.com. Let's go. Okay, this is a hand, all right. So, Obviously, we want Necro Valley on the field, but we're going to try and bait out something. If you can stop it, I want to know. Inspector Border right there is what we need, so you get in my hands. You had nothing to stop it. That's fantastic. So put you there, put you there, and then all these, and the field is locked down. Basically, Inspector Border stops all other monster effects, of all monster effects, period, if there's no fusion, Xyz, Ritual, or any anything like that on the field. I think it's specifically uh, Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, Pendulum, and Link. So if there's not one of those monsters on the field, no monster can activate its effects, and him having 2,000 attack points right off the bat would make it hard for anything to beat over him at that level. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna solve Judgment that. Um, because yeah, we need to protect Necro Valley like, like our lives depend on it because basically this combination of things locks them out of being able to do a lot of things or interrupts a lot of their combos. Uh, they can still special summon though, which we're going to try and handle that later. But for now, uh, worst comes to worst, we got Torrential Tribute, we got Solemn Warning, and uh, we got this guy stopping pretty much all monster effects. Uh, that could be anything. I have no idea what putting three, four, okay, it's Eldritch. Very few other decks put down that many spell and trap cards. Pot of Duality, what do I want from Pot of Duality? We're going to take Heretic. I'm gonna guess he's got all these Eldlich Eldlixers or crap like that. So the faster we can get to a full lockout, the better. And we'll just need Temple of Necro Valley in order to do that completely. I'm pretty sure he is running Eldlich, by the way. I have almost no doubt in my mind. So he killed my Inspector Border, but uh, he couldn't take out Gravekeeper's Heretic. So we're just gonna attack directly with it. If he's got some kind of spell or whatever, it, it won't mess with him. He won't be, he'll, he'll be completely unaffected. So that's really why he's here. 100% Eldlich. Absolutely, and we're gonna stop that. None of that nonsense. Get that crap out of here. This deck exists to stop Eldritch because it specifically locks you out of the graveyard. So if I lose to an Eldritch, uh, I'll be upset. <laughs> what else can he activate? What other crap does he have? Uh, no. Get out of my way. Just get out of my way. Everything he tries to stop me with, just get out of my way. There we go. We pretty much just fought through every single trap monster he had. If he has another one there, I swear to God. Okay. I have little doubt he's got an Eldritch in his hand. And uh, this is really the, the first true test of whether or not this will actually shut it down. Because all you gotta do is MST Necro Valley, and that's pretty much it at this point. Losing Inspector Border also sucks. Okay. We definitely slowed him down, which is good. So, that's the thing about the Gravekeepers, man. They're a slow deck, but they can work. At, uh, at, like they are effective at stopping the opponent from kind of playing their game because they just lock people out of the graveyard, which so many decks are reliant on the graveyard. It's uh, it's not a bad idea to, to stop it. This guy, is very think like, this guy is very heavily thinking about every single little play he makes, man. He's literally just like, oh shit, I don't have MST. If that's the reason why uh, I win this, that's hilarious. A lot of decks don't run MST, actually, so there's a good chance there's a, there's a gap. I would love to draw the card that lets me just discard his hand. I can probably throw in pretty good too. Um, just to give me some more power on the field. So this lets me search any Gravekeeper monster. And I really only have a couple in the deck, but uh, let's see. What does he have? Is it, is it Max C? I'm guessing it's probably... You know what I should actually do? Just have two of the guys that can't be targeted. Just, have just two of the dudes that can't be killed. Why not? As far as I can tell, he's going to have a hard time summoning anything that can actually beat them. So why not? Just have two... Just have, just have two ba uh, Bakuras. Bakura? Bakura? I don't know. It's one of them. But uh, that's clearly who this guy is, 100%. Um, I think I could technically Zeus right now if I really wanted to, but, you know, I'm not going to waste my time with that. There's no reason to. 
because well, these two guys are immune to anything that they do to me. Like their effects just simply will not work on them. So if he doesn't draw something to stop this next turn, uh, I win. And uh, I win old school Yu-Gi-Oh with <laughs> two monsters on the field and nothing else. That's why the Great Peepers are fun though. They're, they're a bit of a throwback because a lot of their game plan hasn't really changed over the years. It's just kind of, you know, lock the opponent out of graveyard and uh, hope that the opponent can't get rid of Necro Valley, really. Which, uh, for the uninformed, Necro Valley basically just allows me... It basically means that my opponents cannot remove monsters from the graveyard. Uh, only downside is uh, when these guys are on the field, their effects actually prevent them from getting powered up by Necro Valley, which uh, I think is a, an oversight, but... Dude, did I really just did I really just beat Eldritch with um with this deck? Did it actually go as planned? Unless he has something in his hand right now, uh, we we smacked him. We smacked Eldritch with Gravekeepers. Are Gravekeepers a meta deck in 2022? We're gonna find out right now. But I don't think he has anything to stop us. I think we're just gonna attack him directly and we're gonna win. And that's it, boys. Uh, Gravekeepers beat Eldritch. And that was 100% clearly an Eldritch deck. I hate that deck with a burning passion, dude. It's ruined every streak I've ever had. So let's go. This is Vengeance from the Gravekeepers. Let's go. Let's move on to the next duel. All right, we're going first. And we have a actually fantastic hand. Like This is great. So let's just do this. So we have the literal optimal hand here, uh, except for that happening. That actually kind of blows. You're going to have to pivot a little bit. But it's not that big a deal. Stop terraforming. We, we can just get um, Commandant and get it from him. You think you can keep me away from my Necro Valley? You got another thing coming. If you have like another negate, I swear to God, dude. Okay. Commandant. And then we get rid of Commandant to get Necro Valley. First of all, we're going to set Imperm right in the middle. I'm noticing that's where everyone puts their cards. Play Necro Valley over there. And then Inspector Border. And then we wait. Not as many negates on the field as I would have liked, but also he can't activate monster effects. Uh, he can't activate graveyard effects. And also, we've got Imperm just there, I guess. I don't know. It's not really going to do anything extra right now unless he gets uh, something from the extra deck out. But let's see. That's what he's playing, if he can actually handle this or not. But this is, at the moment, the pretty solid starting field. But, you know, a Raigeki, any, any destruction will just ruin this right now. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Dark Hole will do it, too. A dark Hole will definitely do it. I, I haven't seen someone play Dark Hole in like 20 years. So of course I've run into the one dude in the world who's playing Dark Hole. I want to show off why the Inspector Border Necro Valley strat is good and you're screwing me, dude. Dinos. Miscellanosaurus on field. What, what does it can do? I don't actually know what Miscellanosaurus can, can do aside from the uh, protection it offers. Dark Hole in 2022. What a world. All right. Uh, optimally, we can get another commandant here. Solemn Judgment's pretty good too. I kind of don't want to crash them into each other. I want to believe he's going to tribute Miscellaneous Saurus for something else, and then we'll judgment the shit out of him. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, he was willing to sacrifice it. All right. I see you. Solemn Judgment. There's good peace of mind though. Dogmatica Punishment is actually a pretty good get. This can uh, definitely help us out. So this is the thing that sucks about Gravekeepers. They're slow. In a game where OTKs are the play, it's a slow deck. That's a card I would love to draw right now. But also, I don't want him to have that draw power. Let's just stop him right now. If he's using Potter's Gravens, he probably doesn't have what he needs. So I think it's worth stopping that. Plus, we've got Dogmatica Punishment to get any monsters off the field. And plus, exactly. We're going to throw uh, Intus out, toss him, and then we can use him to pop the other card too. Beautiful. Hope that didn't have any graveyard effect, but I don't think it matters. Give me something good. Necro Valley Throne, that works for me. Alright, this seems to have a guy who will have like another Dark Hole or Raigeki or something, so let's just get the monster who can't be destroyed by effects and do some damage. So I'm definitely not showcasing the optimal strategy for this deck, but hey, if it wins, right? I mean, it's very funny that uh, we're kind of having to play around it because of uh, the things that are beating it are cards I'm just like, wow, people are still playing that. Another 1800 attack monster, I swear, man. So once again, <laughs> they're going to crash into each other. This is some dumb shit, dude. This is the dumbest duel I've ever seen. Monsters smacking into each other. 
Royal Tribute. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Guys, I don't know if you're ready for this. Watch watch this. Okay, I thought he had more monsters in his hand. But what that basically does, if I have Necro Valley, uh, every both players have to discard all their monsters. So we got rid of we got rid of Big Boy and Midsize Boy. Pancatrops alone probably could have handled <laughs> could have handled me there, so I'm glad we did we got rid of that. We got another inspector border. The strategy uh, re-reveals -re itself as we now have a monster with some actual attack power on the field. This might look like a shitty field, but as this is, uh, he can't activate any effects, he can't activate anything from the graveyard, he can't do anything unless he destroys his border. So he needs to kill this thing somehow. This locks him out of a lot of his deck, and I know Dino's pretty well. Uh, but he could probably get a monster with 2,000 attack out, but not on this turn, I guess, apparently, okay. He's completely locked out. And we have the power to come just shy of killing him right now. That is depressing, dude. But it's all good. It's all good. It doesn't matter. He's going to have 100 life points. Let's see if he can make the comeback. Because Inspector Borderman, he can't use any monster effects. No graveyard effects. What's he going to do? He's dinos. Dinos rely entirely on the graveyard. Without being, like, fossilized and being re-fossilized and crap like that, man, you know? And he scooped. Okay. Uh, that's two and two with Gravekeepers right now. Uh, let's try and get one more game, and uh, yeah, that'll be it. This is a good hand, actually. This is a great hand, actually. Yeah, so we're going second now. Going second with this hand, depending on his deck, is basically just a guaranteed loss, honestly, is what I've noticed. If I go first, I can lock them out of a lot of stuff and do all this crazy stuff. But going second, he could do the same to me and basically just make it unplayable for me, depending on what he does. So, the Lord of Darkness, what was that card he just discarded? He got Black Wings? Okay, uh, that's interesting. I'm, I'm not sure what Black Wings do, honestly. I don't, I don't know what their uh, shtick is, so this is actually going to be an interesting one. Using two um, unusual card types right now. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what these cards do in and of themselves, but... Is it Synchro? Alright. Salt Blackwing. Well, Terraforming is great, but how do I handle this power? Might have to access code. Might have to Zeus, actually. Yeah, we're gonna have to Zeus him. Which is actually something we can totally do. Not my uh, ideal play, but we can do it. Yeah, so the way we have to do this... A, play Necro Alley. I'm, I'm gonna assume he has max C, is my is what I'm gonna assume here. I'm trying to figure out how to survive long enough to actually perform the, the Zeusing. It may be more worth my while to wait until I can negate his effect. It may be more worth my while to wait until I can negate his effect. So for now, just normal summon you. Hopefully get lucky, catch him with uh, with Solemn Judgment. Because I have no way to survive an attack, so I definitely am not Zeusing him right now. If I can... If he tries to synchro into something, if he synchros these two monsters into something stronger, that's when we Solemn Judgment him, and that's when we basically bring this game back, because uh, I don't have anything in my deck strong enough to kill this dude. I don't. I could summon Zeus, so if this guy stays on the field, we could do that too. He can't kill right now, so I'm not gonna do it. No, he's not gonna do anything else with it. So are the Black Wings just like beaters? Are they just high attack damage monsters? What it looks like to me is I should have waited so I could actually, so I could Zeus them now. Now would be the time to do it. Come on, link them. Link all three of them. You know you want to. If you link all three, he's gonna link two of them. We're gonna judgment that. All right, boys, we gotta make a play now. Give me something good. I don't need Necro Valley. We gotta shuffle the board a little bit. I need to empty my hand so Card of Demise has the most use. We survive him with 50? I don't give a shit. Give me something, give me something. That's what we need. This, all, all of these are what we need. Okay. Torrential Tribute might just save us the game. If he summons anything at all, we can bring this back. Because Torrential Tribute will not hurt my Heretic. So therefore, if he does this, if he if he lets me tribute, if he summons something, no, he's just going straight for the attack, huh? All right, Domatica Punishment. Just as effective. I don't have anything that can kill. Oh, yes, I do. I lied. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're back in it, boys. We're back in it. I got scared there for a minute. I, it was it was for suspense, boys. I don't know what, why you doubted me. I'm sorry. I might be sick, but I still have my brains. I planned it all along. I wasn't scared for a second. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of that. We're playing 
low life point ball game right now, boys. Pot of duality, that's fantastic. Give us Inspector Border. I believe in you. I believe you can do this for me. You can do this. Inspector Border. Part of the mines also works. It's, there he is! We got him! We uh, have brought this back in a big way. Uh, next turn, anyway, when I can actually play him, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, that's fine. Whatever he summons, we tribute it. Whatever he summons, we torrential tribute. If I see a higher number, we torrential tribute. <laughs> see, I was using the Tri Brigade Zodiacs and all that stuff, but man, it was kind of boring. We toss it. Get out of here. I don't like you. Get out of my face. He can still normal summon, though, which sucks, but oh, no, he cannot. Very interesting. That was his big play. Alright, we got another pot of duality. Guys, this is actually turning out to be a pretty good duel. Like all things, it's actually turning out to be a pretty damn good duel. Judgment. Like, this feels more old school. Why can't I not summon you? Oh, it's because it's another monster. I have to set him first. I for completely forgot that was his thing. Alright, and then we just attack directly. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, he if there's a monster on the field, he can't be normal summon. He has to be set first. It's fine, we've got Solemn Judgment to cover him until next turn. And then as soon as we can summon him next turn, we're golden. He won't be able to do anything, and we'll basically just win for free. Whatever he does, we Solemn Judgment it. He couldn't do anything. Uh, I think we're winning right now. Unless but that is something crazy. I think we're winning right now. So let's just summon Commandant. There we go. Let's flip summon Inspector Border. And let's just go attacking. Oh, he's got nothing. We won. We did it, boys. That's three in a row with Gravekeepers. Dude, holy shit. That's awesome. This guy's deck was actually pretty cool. I haven't seen anybody at all try Black Wings. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for this. So this is the deck list one more time. It's going to be in the description and possibly the pinned comment as well so people could find it. Um, like I said, this is one that I got from Master Duel Meta after I made my version, which is over here, which was working, but maybe I'd say half the time. This was a fun version, but it definitely was not as consistent. But this version with the inspector border to help like but this version to lock out more of the degenerate shit people do in this game uh is definitely more effective it's very spell and trap heavy and is definitely a going first deck going second can cripple this deck but it's fun uh i can't guarantee you it'll win every time but man if you want to have some fun with, with an old school archetype Here's a Gravekeeper deck that's pretty fun. Once again, shout outs to Master Duel Meta for pointing out that Inspector Border works very well with it. That site is a very good resource for all things Master Duel. It's been helping me build any of my decks. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Hopefully next time my voice is uh, actually existent and I'm feeling better. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe. Uh, more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel content will be coming in the future very shortly. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a good one. Till next time.